This video is a preview to my podcast interview with near-death experience survivor and author Vinny Todd Tolman. Now, I will put a link to the interview in its entirety, the whole thing below. He literally died for nearly an hour and was zipped up in a body bag before coming back to life. Here is a quick preview. that You witnessed the paramedics from outside of your body. It was very, very interesting. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that you saw these three paramedics and two of them were older, one was younger, and they literally zipped you in a body bag. So what happened with, with that? So what, yeah, what had happened is they had called 911, they called emergency services, they got an ambulance there, so a medical team. The medical team had two veterans and then had a, a training rookie. They came, they, they saw the body, they pronounced it dead. They did try to do some preliminary resuscitation to it. Um, but but it didn't take it didn't work the body was already cold so they went ahead and put it in a body bag they you know strapped it down to the to the the gurney like you would a dead body not a living person because there was a tight strap around the neck that you would never put on a living person and um, yeah it was it was very odd for me to witness and it almost felt like a movie to me because the, the body didn't look real at that point. The neck had gotten really wide. It had gotten wider than the jaw. And the face of the, the body was very purple and yellow. And when I say purple, I mean like lavender and yellow, like bright yellow, bright lavender. It didn't look like human. And um, I felt like it was very, very much almost like a Hollywood job, you know, <laughs> looking at this dead body. They put it in the body bag. I still didn't know it was me, though, because me was up here watching everything. And as I'm watching them put in the in the ambulance, I can hear the the thoughts of everybody. So I could hear the thoughts of the medics, the the manager of the restaurant. I could hear the thoughts of literally everyone. And as I'm hearing their thoughts, I could hear the thoughts of the rookie. And the rookie is like going off on himself. Like, why didn't you uh, speak up? Why don't you try harder for this one? Why are you even training um, to do this job if you can't make a difference for this guy? And he kept thinking and feeling like kind of like this heartache that he didn't get to try his hardest to make this guy come back. And he felt he felt that the two medics, the veteran medics, kind of gave up too quick. Even though his training told him that, he he felt that he wanted to try further, but he he didn't speak up. He was brand new. This is literally his first week on the job. And so they pull away from the scene. Uh, with that dead body, he's in the back seat staring at the, the body inside the bag and still having these thoughts. And out of nowhere, I feel this force, like real force go over me and from where I'm watching. And I see it hit him. And all of a sudden, this light starts to form and, and starts to glow, almost like there was a little sun inside of his shirt in, in the heart space. That's where it was glowing. And um, as that, that started to happen, I heard very loudly, this one's not dead. So that was a preview to my podcast interview with near-death experience survivor Vinny Todd Tolman. I will put a link to this interview in its entirety below. You're going to want to check that out. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know in the comments, what do you think about life after death? death and what do you think about this story i love checking out your comments if you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when they come out as always thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support